Hey friends, welcome back to Bubbly Balloon Co. My name is Rachel and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you what I look for in a balloon garland kit on Amazon. My top tips and tricks, the process I use personally when I'm shopping for a kit on Amazon, Etsy, whatever, so that I have peace of mind that I'm actually getting a high quality kit that's going to look like I think it will. Now before we get going for today, I did just want to take a second to say thank you. This channel has been growing so fast lately and it just, my heart has been like exploding. It makes me so happy that this is what I get to do every day and I have so many great things planned for you guys. So many exciting things I'm going to be creating for you over the next few weeks and months and hopefully beyond that I just, I'm, I'm so excited for what the future holds. So thank you so much to everyone who has been watching and liking and commenting and sharing. It means the world to me. So one thing I want to do today is if you've been watching my videos, whether you just found me like today or you've been with me the whole four months I've been on YouTube, if you've been watching my videos but haven't yet said hi, drop me a hi down below so I can like virtually meet you and get to know more of you. I'm so excited about building a community here of other like awesome bubbly people who are into balloons and beautiful things creating more beauty in this world. I'm really excited about making friends and building a community around this ideology and this area. So if you've never commented before, go ahead and leave me a hi down below today. I'm coming at you from my desk today because I want to do something a little different. I know early on in my career, I didn't have the resources either financially or even just the know-how to buy balloons in bulk. And especially if it was for like a one-off job where it was a different color scheme, or I just didn't know when I would use those colors again, it was a lot more sensible to buy a balloon garland kit on Amazon than it was to go out and try to buy every size and every color to create the whole garland. But a lot of the time, when I would order kits on Amazon and then they would come in the mail, I would feel disappointed with what I received in the end. It didn't feel like the same thing as what I thought I had ordered and I would just be disappointed. So I ended up getting pretty good at researching kits on Amazon. So I wanted to share my best tips and tricks with you guys and show you what I really look for in a kit when I'm buying a balloon garland kit on Amazon or even on Etsy, I can show you that too. Just so you have a little more peace of mind, a little more confidence when you're shopping for kits. Now I've had a lot of people ask me if I'm coming out with my own line of kits and I've had probably more people even still tell me that I should. Now I want to kind of let you guys know, just give you a little taste of what's to come. I do plan on coming out with my own line of kits. We are a little premature to even be mentioning it right now, but it is definitely a plan that I am working on. So while I hope to be able to give you some really great kits before long, there's always going to be a need for Amazon's balloon garland kits and Etsy's balloon garland kits. So let's dive into my computer and I'm going to share with you my process, what I look for, and uh, just give you my tips and tricks on it. Okay, so I'm going to start by looking on Amazon here and I'm just going to type in balloon garland kit. I am searching incognito so my own search history doesn't taint this so this should be pretty similar to what any of you guys see if you just log on and go um, do the same search in Amazon. So I'm just going to kind of pick and choose and I'm going to walk you guys through what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, and what I'm looking for in each. So this garland looks gorgeous from the pictures, right? I mean, you've got a variety of sizes, you've got a variety of colors. So I guess, why don't I start with kind of the first thing I wanna see in a garland. I want to see a variety of sizes and at least two or three colors, depending on what the theme is. If you're going for monochromatic, fine. If you're doing an all white garland, all black garland, that's fine. But in most cases, I'm going to want to see two main colors and at least one accent color. So I'm going to want to see, um, like this one is green and white with the accent color of gold. So they've got chrome gold and also these confetti or glitter gold as well, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want to see in a garland like this. Now let's talk about the other thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for a variety of sizes. I want to see 5, 11, 17, and 24. Sometimes they'll throw in 36, but that's very rare. Um, it's actually pretty rare to find all four sizes. So just one tip that I use on Amazon is if I find a, a, a kit that looks good that has like 5'11", maybe they'll have some 17 or 18s in there. Um, if one of the colors is easy to find, like white, I will go and find 24 or 36 inch white balloons that I can add to my order. And then um, I'm, I'm not having to buy, you know, I'm not having to go place a, a bulk order for 
5, 11, 17, 24, 36 in all three colors that I want to use in the garland, but I can buy the one kit and then I can buy one little bag of, you know, five or whatever, 24 inches. And that is a really good hack for me personally that I've used a bunch when I have an easy color, like a color that's easy to match, like white or black. When you're doing blues, greens, um, even golds, like I feel like every manufacturer's gold looks different. Um, those colors there's so much variance from one shade of green or blue to the next it's really hard to match but if you do have like let's say you only have five and eleven inch in the in this garland if it only really comes with five and eleven in green and white then we could possibly go and add some 17 and 24 whites on their own that does that make sense the green i wouldn't feel optimistic about matching but the white i would and you can even go and find like gold confetti balloons in 24 or 36 inches that you could add in as well those can be easy to match okay let's jump back into this listing and see if it's any good so i feel like i've already given five tips but first tip <laughs> but first official tip of like scouting a garland is don't be fooled by the listing pictures the biggest way i've been burned is the listing pictures have been inaccurate i've for some reason there's a lot of brands on Amazon that will take pictures off of Pinterest or Instagram or wherever and put it up for their garland and they look nothing alike in color. So yes, this picture I'm looking at looks gorgeous and I'd like want to smash the buy now button. It's so pretty, but I'm going to do some digging to see what actually comes in this kit and what this actual kit looks like. So the next thing, I mean, I'll just do a quick scan of these pictures and then I'm going to go back and see what actually comes with it. So this comes with gray, gold, green, white, gold, and, um, and glitter confetti. But when I look at this picture, I don't see gray in there. Do you guys? So already I think that this is not a picture of their garland. This, this is not a picture of their kit because I don't see that gray in there. Look at the golds that come with it. They're all different. This is so random. Yeah, and then this down here shows a tan, like a, like a beige or something, some sort of almost blush, with printed gold confetti balloons. Can you guys see that? That confetti balloon is printed. That's not loose confetti in there. That's actually printed. I personally don't like the look of those. Um, I'm sure they can be made to look cute, but I prefer the loose confetti myself which is what it shows in this picture. So you just have to like dissect the pictures in the listing first off and see what lines up and what doesn't. I believe that this could be their stuff looking at it. I don't know, but that, yeah, those greens look very different. So I'm not, I'm not impressed so far. The next thing I'm gonna do is, you guessed it, I'm gonna go to the reviews and look for pictures. This is like the biggest tip I can give you is look at the pictures from customers. So look, like this is a cute garland that this person made, but it's not the same as what was shown in the top picture, like in this first listing picture. Look at this. This here has maybe two or three 18 inches uh, of the gold confetti, and then two, maybe 24, 30, probably 36 inch balloons as well. And that's not what comes in the kit. So in the kit you have, 5 inch, 10 inch, 5 inch, 12 inch, 5 inch, 12 inch, you have two 18 inch whites, and then you have um, five 10 inch gold confetti balloons with some loose confetti. But then you see what was built out of it, and I don't, I actually think I see some 18 inch gold confettis in there, not, not the 18 inch white, which is what the listing said, but there's definitely no 24s or 36s. Um, let's look at another picture. Okay, here you can see this like spot on the end of the green balloons. I think they're a little bit inconsistent, which is common, but I'm just kind of showing you what I look for. Um, these golds look really nice. Those look like they're performing great, but I'm not crazy about what I'm seeing. Yeah, this review even says we didn't get the big size balloons as shown in the original advertised pictures, but it was fine. Okay, and she said she bought gold balloons, so I'm gonna guess these are the ones she bought and these are what came in the kit because I think the kit comes with chrome looking balloons. Um, let's see if there's any other pictures here. 
Yeah, so it looks like it does come with 218 gold confetti balloons rather than white. And these people made it, you know, they made it work. But it's not the first picture that you see. So just because it doesn't match the pictures doesn't mean it's not going to be a good garland. I just want you to know what you're in for if that's what you decide to purchase. Um, I, it's, I, it's very rare that I'll purchase something that doesn't have pictures in the reviews and doesn't have a lot of, you know, things for me to look through and actually be able to discern for myself what's included versus what's not. Um, but let's look at another one. So, okay, this picture is stunning. You can see right off the bat, it looks like it's got a 18 or 24. It's got maybe three or four orbs in this picture, plus these like thick confetti balloons. I've never seen confetti that big. That's really cute. So look, you guys, this one comes with, um, yeah, one 18 inch like beige, three 18 inch orbs, some 12 inch confetti, some 10 inch of that like blush color and then chrome in both a pink or rose gold or whatever and also gold so guys this one looks cute i'll link the ones i'm finding um and the reviewing or whatever i will link for you guys down below so you can take a look at it and see what i'm seeing but like this that looks cute you can see what comes in it that's pretty up front this looks like it's the actually pictures of the kit that we are being sold so that's promising now let me go down and look at the reviews see first review <laughs> one star it's bad the balloons started popping within a half an hour she says she's made a lot of balloon arches in her 32 years as a floral designer never had that happen before okay now this you've probably heard me say in other videos but this is why i test everything when I get like new balloons that I've never used before, if I buy a kit off of Amazon, one, make sure you buy enough. A lot of times you might want to buy, you know, two kits or whatever to make a decent garland out of and not feel like you're short and running out of supplies. But I test everything. I will blow up at least one of each color, usually like two or something of each color size, whatever, because sometimes with these kits, the 11 inch and the five inch end up being totally different, like similar, but actually not the same freaking color, you know? Anyway, blow all of them up, like one or two clusters or whatever it takes, at days in advance, like as soon as your package arrives, and let it sit in the environment for a few days and see how it ages. Don't put them outside yet because any balloons will die outside pretty fast, even Qualitex. But definitely look at how it ages. How's it look on the next day and on the second day and third day and whatever. And that will also answer your question as to whether or not you can build your garland ahead of time. This is one of the questions I get asked the most in comments here is, can I build my garland early? And my answer is always, probably, but test it. So this is how you test it and that's why if I were to blow this up um, and see that all the balloons popped within a half an hour or an hour, I'd be getting a refund and ordering a different kit. So I'm a big, big fan of testing the product ahead of time. Okay, so let's take a look at the pictures we're seeing in reviews. Okay, so looking at this, the orbs look good, the blush looks good. These gold confetti don't look amazing to me, and the gold, to me, does not look at all like it goes with the other colors. Like, that's kind of a brassy, tacky gold to be going with this soft, subtle, rosy palette. So, personally, I'm not a fan of the gold. There are only five of those balloons anyway, so you could easily leave them out or swap them out with something else that you have or you bought on Amazon. But this is... I mean, that one could be better. I think that gold looks better. I don't know if it's a different balloon or just the way they used it and pictured it. But look at that, guys. That's pretty cute. I think that looks a lot like the original images we saw in the listing. That's cute, too. Yeah, here, she said they didn't, went really well. They did well outside, made it through the entire event in the sun, didn't lose any balloons. I mean, if this is them after, that's pretty impressive. So yeah, then okay, here, can you see what I'm saying? This 18 inch or the one 18 inch that they include is a different shade than the 11 inches. It still goes together, it probably still looks okay, but I'm just trying to point out what I look for and what I see and notice. Um, so you guys can just have that in mind and make your own decision on it. If you love it, get it, it doesn't matter. But I just want you to like to look at what I look for. So on this one, it looks like they didn't use the confetti balloons at all, but that looks nice how they did it. Okay, here's showing, oh wow. Okay, so in this picture here, she's showing that the balloons aren't great quality, that she's have this like streaks or damage on the balloons and that that happened to about 30% of the balloons. So 
it looks a little hit or miss. Now, the people that are posting a lot of these pictures aren't um, like activating or they're, they're not spreading out the confetti and doing what it takes to make it stick to the balloon. Um, so that kind of loses that effect. And if you guys want a video on that, let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video on how to use confetti balloons because that can be a real issue and it does detract from the look of the garland. See, this one's cute. Yeah. So the quality looks like it's a little bit hit or miss, but I feel like what you see is what you get on this. So I don't hate this one. I'll link it. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, let's look at this cutie. Wow, 151 pieces. Let's look at that one too. That's huge. Ooh, this one, they have so many colors. Oh, you guys, this is fun. Look at this magical mouse. Wink, wink. Yeah, I see what you did there. Oh, you guys, this is cute. I hope this turns out to be a good one because this looks like quite a, a listing here. Oh, I like this. Okay. It's also 931 ratings um, and four and a half stars. So that's obviously promising. 30% fuller look than the budget brands. Comes with strips, dots, fishing line, balloon tying tool. See, that's nice. Video instructions, that's cool. All right, let's go ahead. It doesn't tell me exactly like what, how many balloons come in it right there. Let's read the listing. An artistic mix of 100, 18 inch, 12 inch, 10 inch, and five inch balloons gives you professional look. I agree, that's a good mix. Of course, I'm always gonna wanna see 24s, but that's just me in a perfect world. Um, but no, those are good sizes. That is a good mix. It doesn't tell you specifically you're going to get five of these, ten of these, uh, twenty of these, but yeah. See, and this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look at that. You've got the, the five, ten, twelve, eighteen. It does look so much better than when you just have the five and the elevens or whatever. This is a 16-foot garland that it makes. This is a really good one, guys, and it comes in a lot of colors. I really like that. I would add 24s to this to really make it complete personally, but yeah, that is, this is definitely better than most of the ones I've seen. So let's go down. Oh God, look how pretty that is. I will eat my shoe if that's what it actually looks like. Let's go down and look here if there's more images. Yeah, so that's got a mixture of sizes in there. Oh, look at this one. Okay, yeah, so you guys, you get the you get the gist of this, okay? All we do is we go through, we look at what they say it includes, we look at the customer images, we really kind of just do our due diligence, read the reviews a little bit, get a feel for what is actually included, if that matches the description or the images, and what it looks like when other people make it. Because a lot, like the biggest thing I notice is that the colors are off. Um, the pictures they use look glorious and glamorous, and then the customer images, it's like, you know okay so this one that i said i'd eat my shoe if this was actually what it looked like i'm hovering over and you can see it's fucking photoshopped so i definitely would not feel good about this and it has zero reviews and ratings so far so that's a definite no from me fam <laughs> reggie agrees it says it comes with 18 inches, 5 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches. I mean, honestly, like, I'd try it, but I don't think these images are honest. See, that looks pretty. I'm always willing to try something, but I'm just, like, I can just tell you that this image is fake. Which is disappointing, <laughs> you know. 107 pieces, 41 rose red, 31 pink, 20 metallic rose gold, 10 piece rose gold confetti. Like, there's not even rose gold confetti in this picture. Do you see what I'm saying, you guys? Like this, this has aqua bobo balloons in it and no confetti balloons. None of these, okay, this picture might be real. This has all the colors they said. And this has all the colors they said. So fine, that's cute. There's nothing wrong with this, guys. Don't misrepresent your product. Like this garland is cute. Why, why make it look like something else? You hear what I'm saying, you guys, okay? You know what I'm, what I'm telling you. Okay, let's look at this other one here now. Okay, so five inch balloons, it's got 16 gray, 16 lake blue, 16 macaron blue, 10 inch balloons, oh, are double stuffed. Gray, lake blue, double stuffed macaron blue. Then it's got single metallic green, metallic blue, 24 inch gray, lake blue, macaron blue, 
and then it's got basically orbs it's calling 40 silver aluminum film in 10 inch 15 inch and 22 inch see that looks cool you guys this is like a very full kit that you're getting so let's go down and look at customer pictures so they had multiple color options and I don't see any images of the blue kit which is what I'm clicked on so that makes me a little bit less confident in it but to be honest they list out what comes in it as long as you feel good about the colors that are shown here you can make something cool out of this now the last thing I want to show you on Amazon is there's a company I've ordered a number of kits from over the last few years and I've always been impressed with their kits, their quality, their packaging. It's just been a really good experience every time I've used them. So okay this just popped up. Here's another warning thing to look out for. Do you see that this listing and this listing have the same image yet the descriptions are different, the prices are different, I'm sure the sellers are different. Sometimes you know a sponsored listing will show up and then the, the organic listing will come up right next to it that's the same but these are different listings with the same image so one if not both of those guys are lying we already discovered this one's lying i'm gonna bet this one is too just saying this one also has no reviews so my spidey senses are going off on that one okay here we are guys these are oh cute this is the company i've bought a number of kits from before let's go to their store so shimmer and confetti is the name of them i have no association with them whatsoever but i just know that i've bought a number of their kits before and it's always been a good experience this unicorn one i think i've used at least twice now and it's really cute they yeah they do a really good job so it's got this super cute box it comes in i actually like was so excited the first time i got one from them the packaging was just so sweet it came with like a handheld pump i think if i'm not mistaken it came with so many things i wasn't expecting it just actually blew me away and these pictures are legit i did my research at the time these are really um pictures of what you can create with their kits so it comes with um 24 inch balloons five 24 inch balloons one in each color, um, a bunch of 10 inch balloons, five inch balloons, all in the same colors, plus 12 inch uh, glitter confetti. And then also some little foil sparkle balloons that are super cute. It's got this nice unicorn head. Um, it's got, you know, glue dots, fishing line, uh, tape, the tying tool, you know, I hate that curling ribbon, balloon flower clips. You can make little flowers out of balloons. Like it's actually, they just do a really great job and I can't believe how cheap it is. Like $19.99 for that. I can't get that if I'm buying in bulk. I don't think I could get it that cheap. So I don't know what they're doing. Um, you know, I don't know how they do it, but I know that every time I bought from them, I've, I've been really delighted with the experience. So that's one I would recommend. I don't know how many kits they have available. See, they have large rose gold confetti, large gold confetti. I think I've bought these large rose gold ones before. I think they were really good. So yeah, I don't know how many kits they do have available, but just the ones I have bought from them have been really nice. So look into it for yourself. You know, I, 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 I always want to see that variety of sizes. And looking here, I don't see it in this one. I don't see it in this one. I don't see it in this one. So I can't promise like every kit's going to be amazing. So definitely look into each one if it has all the sizes you want, all the colors you want, everything like that. Um, maybe it's something you can add on from another, you know, another product on Amazon or your local party store. I don't know. But um, I've just, I've had some good experiences with these guys. So I thought I'd pass it on to you guys. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is show you guys some stuff on Etsy, and I am doing it incognito because I'm mid helping plan a baby shower for a friend, and I don't want to spoil any of the surprises. So I will say on Etsy, I don't seem to see the same kind of like deceptive images. I feel like the quality overall is much higher. I think it's a lot more what you see is what you get. And honestly, there's a lot of people selling really, really beautiful stuff on Etsy. Every time I come on here shopping for kits, I just like start crying because they're so pretty and look here's our famous picture because we've talked about it five times now let me go see if this is really it okay 50 white uh five inch and ten inch retro green five inch and ten inch chrome gold five inch ten inch confetti gold 12 and 18 inch um as well as 10 inch transparents which i do see here and here so i still don't see these 36s oh my gosh no you guys it's still a fake picture look at this that's not the same kit <gasps> oh i'd be so mad no okay well apparently you gotta fish around on etsy too fam but here look at this for instance like 
I am obsessed. I think I'm going to buy this kit right now. This is unbelievably beautiful. So you can, oh, I see they have an option for 108 pieces or 158 pieces. So a 10 foot or a 15 foot garland. And guys, I'll be honest, this is what I feel like is the beauty of kits. If you were buying everything in bulk for a 10 foot garland, you'd be spending like a hundred bucks or more. Whereas here you can get it for $34. So in their 10 foot kit, it comes with five, 10, 12, and 18 balloons in three colors, plus chrome balloons in two sizes. Um, you, yeah, you guys, this is a great deal. And then if you're doing the 15 footer, wow, they don't give you more 18 inch balloons, which is weird to me. I would wanna see more of those in a longer garland. But hey, I guess that's why I'm gonna come out with my own kit, right? I wanna see what I wanna see. But that being said, this is gorgeous. These colors are amazing. I have to know what's going on with this dusty pink. Like that is the prettiest thing ever. These also look like they're all double stuffed, which is just fantastic in terms of value. So yeah, I don't know who this is by, who the seller is, anything like that. I just, I know every time I come on Etsy, I see stuff like this and I just fall in love. Like, let's look at this one. With fall right around the corner, how stunning is this? Oh man, you guys, it's stunning. Oh, wow. Oh, look how pretty that is. Yeah, you guys, this is incredible. Everything was as advertised. So, oh, hi, Rachel. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I feel much more confident buying on Etsy. If I can be honest with you, the prices are usually higher. Um, I don't know about the balloon quality necessarily. I think you probably have some that are really high quality. I know I see a lot of tough decks sold on here. Um, and you probably have some that are just as cheap as the ones you'd get on Amazon. But I do think that overall, the experience is a lot better on Etsy. There's a lot less false representation. And um, I see a lot of really, really beautiful kits sold on Etsy. And the customer pictures are just, yo girl. So that makes me feel good about it as well. Look at this. Like, how cute. This variety in size is where it's at. And here, here's another one. Are we ever going to find the owner of the Sage Olive kit? There's no customer pictures, so I guess I'll never know. No. This is the exact same as the last one. <laughs> it's my personal mission in life to find the original creator of this kit now. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them on Etsy, you can even like pick your own colors, mix and match. I just admire what people have done on here. Like it's a really, really beautiful uh, selection is available here. This might be where I go with my kits. I don't actually know anything about Etsy other than I love shopping on it. <laughs> so I don't know, but oh, look at this. <gasps> Stop, you guys. Look at these colors. Now, these are pretty realistic prices, I have to say. I mean, if you were buying in bulk, you'd be spending a lot more, especially if they include like chromes or foils orbs any sort of accent balloons um, especially can drive the price so high so um i'm i'm kind of impressed to see like realistic prices that are still gonna save you money if you were buying this stuff yourself does that make sense i think i've said the same things 30 times now but you feel me well i hope i have all these links saved so i can link them for you guys down below well guys that's it for this video those are my top tips and tricks for what i look for personally when i'm shopping on amazon for a balloon garland kit i hope you found some helpful tips in there i hope you feel a little better next time you go to buy a kit and hey if there's a particular kit that you'd want to see first from me let me know in the comments below